So what? Ew. So today I'm going to go to... Oh yeah. So today I'm going to go to Luxembourg Art Week and then I'll sketch a bit in the city. And uh, oh my god, I'm so, so congested. I sound horrible. Sorry, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna arrest me? Are you gonna give me a ticket? So what are you gonna do about it? We're reporting it. Are you gonna arrest me? Are you gonna give that. me a ticket? We don't do so that. what are you gonna I'm gonna go to the art fair thing that they have. I hope the art fair is not boring, like I hate silent exhibition type of things. It's like so awkward. And I'm really excited to take free public transport. Yay! Because public transport in Rotterdam is a fucking expensive. So, also, I hope I'm not covering anything on the camera because this is not mine. I'm actually renting this and I'm not supposed to even take it to a different country, but Luxembourg's not that far, so I don't really count it as too much of a different country but yeah whatever I'm gonna go and see if it's fun and sketch a bit fill up like the last few sketchbook pages in my sketchbook I just looked at what I recorded and why was it like that so much that's so weird and why do I look like a bloated rat So yeah, I took the bus to like a train station that was closest to me and yeah, I pulled out my sketchbook and was like, oh my god, I'm gonna sketch in the bus, but I didn't. Why do I recorded a lot of the scenery, even though it's really ugly. And I was listening to Melanie Martinez after such a long time. I was listening to Melanie and Melanie Martinez is actually a big part of like my drawing journey because I started drawing as like fan art for her. And yeah, so she's a really important part. And I sketched this on the Flixbus to Luxembourg. I really like the pages. And it says Luda Zatobo. It's a song that I like. And then I started sketching like in the train, um, like the train seats. And yeah, just the train scenery, which was fun. Like my computer's going crazy right now. What the fuck's going on? It's like overheating. But yeah, it was really fun drawing the seats. I don't know why and also because it just turned out good so it was fun that it turned out good I was like thank god it's turning out good they drew the squares like the patterns on it like the patterns have been the same I think for like millions of years and I used this Faber Castell sky blue one because I really like it I got it I got it when I went to Iceland actually I have a lot of footage from Iceland I might like put it all together into like a little vlog and also I have a lot of sketchbook material that would be so fun to put it all together I definitely will do that but yeah so I just sketched in the train and as I said free public transport that's like the best thing about the country it's like free there's like no cars so you have to get nothing it's f-r-e-e -E. cause I'm a freak <laughs> I don't know what I felt like Nicki Minaj um Supergirl or whatever it's called, super dry or something, I don't know. But yeah, and then the city is so pretty. Like the longer I haven't well the longer that I haven't been there, the more I've realized how beautiful the capital city is. But yeah, it's really pretty and it was like foggy that day as you can tell. So it was really, really stunning. It was stunning. As no how would how would you know Birch say that again? Absolutely stunning. Stunning. This is so, so stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Yes, stunning it is. Look how pretty it is. That's beautiful in it. That's gorgeous in it. Actually, the train ride to Luxembourg City is one of my favorite, like, parts of going to Luxembourg. Well, not even going, being in Luxembourg City. It's like train right there. It's like so beautiful and so, like, fairy tale esque. And yeah. So I would recommend taking the free train just to like see the scenery like that. I would always want to, I always want to go like on the sides of the train, but I think that's illegal. You know, like on the railing, you can see kind of the railing. I feel like it's a nice ass balcony, but I feel like that's illegal. Probably. But yeah, the fog was so beautiful. The fog added like a layer of like, I don't know. But yeah, so I stepped outside. I was too anxious to record like the train station. So I just started recording when there was less people. And they were setting up the Christmas market with this fairy, what's it called? Not fairy tale, the, the square, the, the circle, the circle ride thing, Ferris wheel. They were setting that up. 
and uh, I have a awkward ass picture to show you guys of me on the ferris wheel when I was like fucking 12 or whatever oh yeah these and then I saw these weird ass like things and I started to draw them which was really fun Oh, non potable. This means oh, not drinkable. You can't drink this water. Don't drink it from the mouth of the beast. This was actually one of the perfect like weathers to me for Luxembourg City, like the autumny, foggy type of shit. But yeah, we went to Luxembourg all to wake, and it was real, real stunning there. It was so fun. Like I saw a lot of art. I probably just put the art week in the comments, and you can find all the artists there. Because it's a lot of work. But this artist, oh my god, this artist, I loved their work so much. Like, this artist was definitely my favorite. I recorded a lot. Like, some of them I really liked, some of them I didn't like. Ooh, my computer is going insane, love. These are iPad drawings by the that one guy. Oh, I love Nikki de Sanfal. Or Nikki Sanfal? Nikki, <laughs> Nikki de Sanfal, I don't know. I just love her work. I just love her in general. She's so fun. Also, like, the shot. Uh, the shooting paintings slay my favorite part of art history in high school was learning about her and all these paintings were so fucking nice like that one in particular with like the with the purple skin oh love that's good this one was really really gay and like the person seemed also very gay that worked there and this person i looked at it like a lot like i love the colors in here so fucking pretty it was something i could relate to it's not too fine art but yeah they gave me like a postcard of it which is so nice <laughs> This one was very realistic, like very realistic, and it was crazy to see, and honestly I realized how little I care about realism. But these bugs, these bugs were fun. These were huge bugs, fake bugs, I hope so. If these exist in real life, kill me. <gasps> oh, laugh, these ones, aren't they gorgeous? Those ones were so gorgeous, I love them. And yeah, they're just so fucking cool. I love them so much so it was really fun you can see like all, it was a lot of galleries so I couldn't talk to the artists and this one I also really loved like especially this gallery had so many cool things that were like animal themed but yeah overall I did love the whole like event art week but I must say I wish that they had like the artists there rather than like the gallery people because I don't I don't know they all were like fancy fancy dresses fancy outfits and I was like that's not my vibe like this one also I really liked like everything was kind of more like approachable seeming I loved but overall as I said it was not the most like Stunnelina type of thing but then afterwards I went to the library for the first time the National Library and it was really really beautiful and I felt really out of place because there were so many students studying while my ass was picking out what Art book will I take? This one says Papa Sikwan um who sexual. I don't know if it's like a joke on homosexual. And this book looked really cool. Japanese illustrators now, so I was like, I'm gonna take that one. A life illustration. I'm gonna take that one. Then this one's also super interesting, but I didn't end up picking it because there were lots and lots of words and words are not my vibe. Actually, yeah, they are. Actually, no. But yeah, I just wanted a picture book, like. <laughs> No, me saying I wanted a picture book in like a library and people studying about medicine. But yeah, so I just started sketching and copying from like the cover. And honestly, like this day, I'm really like disappointed in what I created. But I'm just going to show what I still did because not every day I'm going to create something slay. But yeah, so I went through the book and I found so many cool artists. It was so fucking fun to look through it. Yeah, it was really, it's a really nice book. I decided to pick a few artists that I really liked and um, copy some of their works, you know, like studying from them what I like, what I don't like. Then I found this artist. Isn't it stunning? Their name is Chigi. I tried to follow them online, but I couldn't find them, to be honest. Yeah, I was really inspired and to use ballpoint pen, but I didn't have one. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying. I don't remember. But yeah, it was really stunning. The next artist that I drew from was this artist. Their name is Fu Rider. And I wrote down what I like and what I didn't like and stuff. I don't know why I didn't show. Oh, now I'm showing it. Chigi. Yeah. Chigi, I hate it. You can see the noir. Like, I hated what I, like, created. Young illustrators who draw every day of their lives start off by copying somebody you like, over time absorb their essence and reinvent it, find your own style. I find that quote really, really, like, nice and true. And uh, also this question about what the difference between art and illustration, I also don't see there to be a difference, so I always call myself an artist and illustrator. But yeah, Foo Rider, follow them. I have their, like, link in the bio, but I really like them. Their art is so too Y2K like 
skater vibes i don't know i really really like it it's really fun here are some things that i like about these three artists and yeah i think it's a really nice thing but i also feel sometimes like when i look at these books like i'm skimming through them and not giving each artist the time they deserve that was really fun so i went out of the busy library and it was even foggier which was so beautiful and look at that weird ass train they have a weird train in luxembourg it's like a goes to the train station and goes down like a mountain it's really weird but it's fun especially when my little cousin comes over she loves going on it she thinks it's like the most fun thing ever actually i'm being very dramatic she thinks it's kind of fun i think she thinks it's fun i assume she thinks it's fun and then my first video came online i really liked it and then i'm here showing you what i did for the day i'm really not too happy with what i did to be honest like the first page i did like the rest was kind of noir like it was just not working but yeah i still tried and then i was like let me sketch some more laugh um, because i wanted to fill up the sketchbook and start with the new one like a fresh start and then i do something and i was like uh um -uh, noir this like no i think this is a good time to end the video here i'm gonna insert some you know like views of the sketchbook pages and yeah as i said i'm not too happy with what i did but i think it's important to still show these types of things and be real and honest that i don't always create something that i like and i'm proud of but yeah i hope you enjoyed this little video about my day at art week luxembourg i'll see you in another video most likely a sketchbook tour about my sketchbook that i just filled up love but yeah thank you for watching 